Hey guys, it's Ryan here, bringing you yet another F1 2012 Spit Mode gameplay number four. And this time we are at the Bahrain National Circuit. Um, and in this one, I am in the Force India, and my position expectancy is second position. And we're starting in second position as well. So basically, I have to stir I am. Now, in this race, uh, you may recognize the driver who's on pole position. He's a fellow YouTuber, it is the great Alex Afro. And his link is in the description, and I suggest you go and subscribe to him because he has great F1 content. So basically, we're just waiting now for to, for us to make the setup, and once again, it's basically the same, which you guys will now obviously know: the 40 high standard and 11 11 uh, balance. The uh, suspension's the same again, but I I lower it, these rear springs. To, uh, I was thinking, do I lower the springs down, but I lose a bit of traction coming out of the slow corners. But then I decided to go back to the original 1-1-11-11. And the gear's basically the same, but I do three clicks to the right in the end. As obviously we have a couple of straights on here, and the alignment is the same. So I'm about to head out now onto the track. Um, just want to point out that um, uh, me and Alex have got some good videos, well we had some good actions in a spit mode session we had tonight um, some of the videos will be making into a little montage but we'll have to wait and see uh, depending on how many good videos we've got from the sprint races we had tonight so as you see Alex is on pole position in the Williams and then there's me in second position and then my teammate who is on the 4th or 5th row I can't see so we're just about to start then, I'm just revving the um, the engine, Alex is revving already, which could bite him at the start here, as the five lights come on now, and we are away, and it's a good start for me, getting it straight on the curve into second gear, overtake Alex, just before the braking for turn one, now I know this one is going to be interesting, as we can see three cars there, flying off and one's in the air, flying in the sky, don't know how that happened but it's the game it's probably lag and and amazingly I am unscathed from that and sadly Alex lost a position there to harmful 27 I think I can't really tell from the name but um, basically that's basically the action I have from my point of view but if you head over to Alex who has I, f I do believe he will post this same race up on his channel you will see more action from him as he battles for second place that went all the way to the final lap Lou had a bit of locking up at that corner it is a difficult corner that double left hand at apex because you can't see the bottom of the uh, the corner as it bends down into the tight twisty section but for me in, in my opinion Bahrain is not one of my favourite tracks it's a bit bland I believe but I am glad that they aren't using the same layout as they did on F1 2010 uh, which was s too long for me in my opinion and I do not understand why they did bring it in the first place but if that's what the FAA wanted because of the increase in teams then that's what they wanted but now I do believe that um, they made the right decision to go back to the original layout which saw in the real, in the real season where it went down to the last couple of laps but Sebastian Vettel did pick Kimi Raikkonen and you wonder if Kimi did make that move into turn one would he have won the race? But we'll have to wait and see in the future if he can manage to do it without needing uh, the car in front to retire. So, um, update then. Um, as you can tell from the channel, I've not posted the race net challenge yet. It's because I just haven't had time to record um, as I've been busy with uni as of late and. Um, also, the questions for the question answer video are closing on, I believe, you have till Wednesday, I think, to post your questions, so post them in here or on the uh, the uh, the last sprint mode video, which is on the screen, which has been on the screen from the start of the video if you want to watch it, which was a cracking race. Um, and as I said in the previous video, basically, it could be anything from F1, 2012 on the game, uh, real life F1, or personal life, or like my my uh, ideas for YouTube, like my plans and etc. And uh, this lap, well, this lap here was a bit sloppy, I believe, because I went a bit wide at the double left and I locked the tyres a lot. Um, 
I've not really checked the news on F1 as of late, but Alonso did say this week that he, or today, that he's not extinguishing his championship hopes and he will fight to the end. And I do believe that if Ferrari have a good car for Austin, they could have a sniff of winning the Drivers' Championship. I don't think that Red Bull will win the Constructors in uh, Texas without a shadow of a doubt. They have two incredibly good drivers who've had good reliability. Shame about Weber though, yesterday in uh, Abu Dhabi, he was caught out sadly by Grosjean Perez and the rest is incident. Um, but I do believe that uh, they will be very strong in um, Texas as it's a more highly downforce track that does suit the Red Bull quite a lot. So hopefully we can well, in my opinion, I'd like to see Red Bull clinch the Constructors' Championship because I do think they deserve it, in a way. But in my, I do want Alonso to win the Drivers' Championship, and I just don't want to see Vettel claim three in a row. It just doesn't suit doesn't suit me, in my opinion. So we're just about to now finish the um, the race. I do apologise as well for the person who is speaking at the minute. He does swear a bit after he was taken out by a certain driver, a number one dr devil or something. So I do really apologise for the uh, the language in the video. Hopefully I will. I'll, I'm going to turn on the voice chat off in the game so you can't hear anyone. So we're about to cross the line now. Take the victory. Um, I get the fastest lap as well in this. I think it was a 32.3. Yeah, 32.3 there. Uh, with Alex coming over in second place, so it's a nice YouTube one-two there. And. Uh, it was an uh, interesting race there. But guys, I want to thank you guys for watching today's sprint mode video. Hopefully in the next couple of days I'll bring the race net challenge from Abu Dhabi and also the question and answer video. But as always guys, hope you have a nice, a nice day and I'll see you soon on the next video. Cheers.